Jason Taylor's Hall of Fame weekend was all about family. His three kids rode along with him during his Hall of Fame parade and whom he tearfully acknowledged during his induction speech. I never had a father. There's no bigger honor. There's no bigger blessing. And there's no greater job in this world than being a father. I made it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. But when I die, all I want in this world is for my kids to be able to say, he was a Hall of Fame dad. It was about his siblings, a brother and two sisters, one of whom got leave from her military post in South Korea to witness Jason's historic moment. It's a surreal moment right now for, I mean, for all of us, me specifically. I mean, I know we always said, you know, well, he'll be in the Hall of Fame one day, and it just kind of, it's great to see it happening right now and being able to be a part of it and having the kids be old enough to remember it. But above all, Taylor reaching his Hall of Fame mountaintop felt like a tribute to his mom. Georgia Taylor raised him and his siblings as a tough-minded single parent who didn't have time for quitters. You have door one, two, and three, and you know that the one and two are the easy way. You can't go in that way because you're going to hit another wall. Taylor wanted to give up on football after just a few days as a Dolphin rookie until he called home. I went back to my room one night and I called my mom. I said, you know what, mom? I don't know if this NFL thing is for me. He had beat, I was that beaten down after five days. She said, well, you can come on home and get a job or go to the military, or you can get your butt to bed and get back to practice. The day he called me and said he wanted to quit, I was so busy and I was so tired and I was just like, I want to quit too, you know, but I got to keep going to work. And we got off the phone and evidently thought about it, and, you know, and he went back to work. And, and here we are. And here we are. <laughs> Of course, her son stuck with it and became the greatest defensive player in Miami Dolphins history. Moments after his official entry into the hall, Taylor was both gratified and relieved. You know, I was nervous. I had was shaking. I was crying. I was everything. But, but I, I think I got out everything I wanted to do and, and uh, did nothing else to show that I am eternally grateful for the journey. I feel like I'm talking to a man who feels whole. Um, yeah, I do. That's that's a that's a, a great way to put it. I do. I feel I feel whole. You're right. Well, Taylor now can really settle in with family. He's helping to coach his son and his team at St. Thomas Aquinas High School in Fort Lauderdale. And his son told me that he too is shooting for the Hall of Fame. That would be just fine with Dad. I'm Jim Barry, CBS 4 Sports.